kita to this game and my god ano kaya yung strategy yung magiging ano magiging focus ng teams natin we have first ban for Jomix, Bright Wing and Zero Tool on BYP FNK Bright Zero Tool I can understand maganda si Zero Tool mag ano mag mag gank in this map can go around can kill a lot of people without them knowing especially on Cursed Hollow na magahabul kayo ng mga curse ng mga ano ng mga tributes so he's a good pick Bright Wing I am not that sure I don't know actually nagugulat ako kasi wala nga hindi ko nakita si Uther ngayon so medyo iba yung meta nila maybe Bright Wing is the healer of the choice here as we can see ang first pick ng Jomix is Tyrael and ang pick ng BYP FNK is Illidan and Anubarak weird combination Illidan and Anubarak but it could work dive build sila pwede silang pumasok with Illidan and Anubarak with stunning everyone so they're gonna need a bit of good heals actually having Brightling would have worked pero since uh, na ban siya, they're gonna have to settle with another hero that can heal. Hopefully, we can see an Uther in this game, and there he is! Yeah, Uther, finally. One of the best heals in the game. Let's go back to Jomix. Pick nila is Jaina and Tiranda. Tiranda is not really a support. Do not forget that, guys. So, medyo DPS si sila. They're gonna need the support in a bit. I'm hoping that they'll pick Rhaegar for, ano, for the heals. Tiranda can handle the low heals, the constant heals. Si Rhaegar, he'll be able to dish out the huge uh, burst heal na kailangan ni Illidan, I mean, ni Tyrael, when he dives in for the kill. But we have to wait for the pick from BYP FNK first. Sino kaya ay magiging support nila for Uther, Anubarak, and Illidan? I'm thinking maybe get a specialist like Sylvanas. There we go. Sylvanas magaling sa Cursed Hollow with her, ano, with her with her trait yung black arrow niya na makakapag push when the other team is otherwise occupied into getting the ano the tributes on their base so great choice there Uther Sylvanas mukhang BYP FNK is bringing out all the big guns in this game to counter out Sylvanas and Irida maybe something that can hunt or uh, gank yung lineup nila would have suggested Zero Tool but wisely pinili ng BYP FNK na iban si Zero Tool from the offset so hindi sila unti-unting mga hunt so sino kaya ang magiging assassin ng Jomix can't be Jaina kasi Jaina is not really that built for roaming around so I wonder who could be the assassin maybe Falstad or Kerrigan or Nova maybe Something that will be able to go around and hunt. Because that's going to be the weakness of, ano, of FNK. The presence nila in the lane is going to be from Sylvanas. Lang. I, don't, I doubt that si Illidan is going to be going around hunting people. So something that can hunt them. Can pressure Sylvanas into going back. And then making her not as important. And maybe disabling some heroes on the fight as well maybe i don't know another another good assassin na maganda mag ano mag gank is ano is falstaff so elite tassador is a good support yep i understand maybe he can good he can make some good shields and helping keep the structures alive i'm curious why they picked sonia sonia is sonia is okay since dive comp naman yung ko ano uh, BYP FNK, she can probably deal much a lot of damage, and Tassadar can uh, support instead of Tiranda because again Tiranda is not support, but they won't be able to gank FNK and Sylvanas is just gonna rule in this lineup. He's just gonna rule this map. He's gonna go around especially pag cursed ng kalaban mo. Even if your team is cursed, kung Sylvanas ka either way, you're a walking curse naman and you can do as much damage as uh, you need naman so Sonya Tassadar good for engagements but for lane presence it's not gonna be as great and Lost Vikings oh huh ngayon alam ko na kung bakit nakaban si Zeratul that's why Zeratul got banned and ngayon alam ng FNK 
alam ng FNK na Sonya and Tassadar not great for ganking. Si, si Tiranda, she's mostly gonna stay in lane and try and support. Jaina, mostly in lane. Not gonna be adventuring out so much. Tyrael, probably. Probably Tyrael or Tassadar or Tyrael Sonya. Or Tassadar Sonya. But in terms of ganking, walang power yung ano, Joe Mix. So Lost Vikings is a great pick. That means that they will be able to go around and do a lot of damage or rather get a lot of XP from camping. And that frees up Illidan, Uther, Anubarak, and Sylvanas to go around and do as much ganking as they need. And it's gonna be very dangerous para sa Joe Mix. I can already see I can already see what might happen in the following game. So that's the draft. For the first game of the finals for uh, Joe Mix versus BYP FNK. I'll go around and set up the game guys. So just stand by for a minute or two and we'll be back to you as soon as possible.
Welcome back guys, here we are. Nagload na ang map on Cursed Hollow Game 1, Jomix vs BYP FNK again, Cebu vs Manila. We'll see kung sino ang unang magbibigay ng victory. Let's get into the game. Okay, so on the left side looks like we have, I don't know, we have Jomix. The gentleman as Thiriel, Ao as Tiranda, Bit as Jaina. Noisy boy, noisy boy as Sonia, eh, Tassadar, Ephemeral eh, as Tassadar. Five, four, we have Ember three, two, on TLV. One. We have oh my God, Bellamy as Sylvanas. We have Hikaru as Illidan. We have wow, Extreme as I know as a good illegal logger Uther as Lumberjack Uther Vizier. We have him as Anubarak. Nayon. Ano ang magiging strategy ng teams natin? Like I said, nakuha ng ano, BYP FNK ang um, PLV. So they can just go ahead and farm. I don't know what they're talking about. They just go ahead and farm. Okay. Alright. Just go ahead and farm while PLV takes care of the experience for them. Like I said, going in, ito yung magiging strategy nila. Four heroes on one lane, or maybe going around and ganking. And then TLV just soaking up experience from mid and top. So it looks like yung nay magiging plan na ano, na, na ano na um, BYP FNK. Very very ano very very scary pressure dito sa bottom. And looks like they have to react with something there. Pumbas mo si Deranda to try and do some damage. Blizzard coming in. Oh, it's in the Nope, pretty safe, pretty safe. Unfortunately, they are seeding. They're seeding from getting the experience from mid at Bumabar and Sitasadar. Good management there. Best choice ng ano dito is just ano, 2 1 1 3. They have to defend from the bot as much as possible, but keeping the XP income from top and middle as well. Anyway, malapit ng pumasok yung tribute. Well, actually, they do have. One or two minutes before the first tribute comes out, and they have to get as much experience as possible. And for some reason, for some curious reason, medyo in the lead actually, um, I don't know, um, Joe Mix with their experience. Pero ito na kagapasuan na, oi, mo kama huli pa si Tiranda, si Bilami, si Bilami, mo kama ka away. Wow, that was so close. Noisy boy and bit might have, I don't know, I might have. But off, bit off more than they can chew with that engagement. It's Ember, just, you know, being very careful. Okay, tong ginagawa niya. Just two lanes managing as TLV. Just getting the experience. Hindi niya pinupush yung three lanes niya kasi medyo ano, medyo nakakatakot yo. Yung combination na tong ano, na TLV on two lanes, mas konti yung iisipin mo na lanes and you're free kasi either way kailangan mag lane up naman ng allies mo. So it's a good choice. And actually, it frees up Illidan to go around getting some creeps. Very, very scary composition yung kinuha ng BYP FNK sa game na to. And now they're slowly getting in the lead in terms of experience. So, ano, so Jomix, kailangan nilang mag ng something to come back from this. Wow! Wow, that sneaky tribute grab. Ah, bang malayo kayo, kunin ko na yung tribute. Very smart. Yan yung sinasabi ko. If Jomix keeps on doing things like that, they might be able to get this game easily from the more, I know, the more PvP-centric build ng BYP FNK. Speaking of PvP, mukhang tapos na sila sa bot. They're moving up. They're gonna go and, I know, and pressure top. Maghahabol na sila. Sabi nila, okay na yung bot. They're very, very scared and we're gonna pressure top. But, hindi <coughs> magpapatalo. Ang Jomix sila naman sabi, if you're gonna pressure top, we're gonna pressure bottom. Wala na kayo dito. I know you're far away from here and wala magagawa yung TLV, Lost Vikings, para mag-defend. So we're gonna go ahead and chip some damage. But right now, sinuko swerte ang Jomix dahil ang tribute ay nasa baba. It's on the bottom. It's very near for them. So they can go ahead and attack and see because they're closer. Maybe pressure kung ano man yung nasa bottom. I wonder what they're saying on chat. It's like, wala. And I think they might be getting a little bit of lag, which is very important, especially pag nasa finals ka ng qualifier. So we'll see kung ano ang magiging uh, action. Okay, 
There's the unpause and looks like Noisy Boy going in for the sneaky claim as well. Si Tiranda nakapuesto for a nice stun. There are still two seconds there. And I think, yup, TLV is the only one na nandito para mag, ano, mag deny ng tribute. He's gonna be here to try and get it. Unfortunately, there's no way for him to get that. But the rest ng, ano, ng BYP FNK is going up and trying to deal as much damage as they can. Looks like they got their own talents and finally, whoa, no. As expected, nakuha ng, ano, ng draw mix ang second tribute. It's gonna be very dangerous. Even if you have... Oh, wait. Wait lang. Mukhang nagkakakataki na naman to. Si Bit na huli na naman. And wow, Baylo gets taken out. Nice job there by Noisy Boy. And nakauwi si Bit. Walang problema. Nakachip sila ng kahit pa paano. Kahit medyo in the lead ang... Ano? Ang BYP FNK in terms of damage. At least, I mean in terms of XP. Nakakatch up naman ang draw mix. Speaking of catching up, mukhang basag na basag na ang bottom lane. They're just slowly chipping it off. Getting as much XP as they can, kahit na push sila. They're letting it happen actually. Technique yan pagkalaban mo si, ano, si Lost Viking. Kasi pag Lost Viking ka, naka-separate ka into 3 lanes. Pero, you're not gonna be there 100% of the time. You have another resource, which is attention. So, hindi mo i-risk na push too much. Kaya ang technique ng other team is, huwag mong apakihin yung creeps nila. Kaya mo silang lumapit sa'yo. And they can get as much... Uh, experience from that kasi hindi makakapag-push si Lost Viking speaking of pushing mukhang galit na galit sa mid ang um, FNK uh, they're trying to pressure it so much but the Knights are coming in there and now kailangan kunin to ng FNK kasi one na lang oy si Vizier mukhang naipit oh my god ang sakit yun yung Sonya in the works noisy boy galit na galit inuuna si Illidan and Illidan is forced to go back and wow Ephermal taking the tribute oops muntik na pag nakuha niya yun maka-curse ang DYP FNK Ember sacrificing one of his Vikings to try and get the rest of the team out unfortunately nakuha ni Ephermal and now the horse is the shoe is on the other foot sabi nila oras na ilabas ang lakas ng build namin nakuha nila with those sneaky claims of tribute pumasok ang Jomix and nakuha nila ang first curse into this map. Unfortunately, nakakalimutan nila na may Bellamy, na may Sylvanas, ang um, BYP FNK. So they can counter push, no problem. And let's see which team does most damage in this first curse. Mga si Ember eh. Oops. Uh, Alright, never mind. Heroic abilities are already out and they're coming. Mukhang magkakaroon ng magandang engagement dito sa gitna. Pupasok si Ayo, medyo malakas. There's the scouting ability, pumasok, and the engagement silence coming in from Silvanas. Uma atras sila visor. Oh, judgment with the stun. Unfortunately, medyo mababa na ang buhay ng Jomix, and they're getting picked off one by one by Elidan. Inahabul sila unti unti si Noisy Boy. He goes down. Ephemeral is susunod ka na kahit naka Archon ka, and the experience gap is trying, is just getting bigger and bigger para. The BYP FNK on the other hand who is pushing back with all of their might and taking names and kicking dreams aside now that they've cleaned mid they're just gonna go back and one of them is proposing to go for the boss which is very risky in this case kasi magre respond na ang heroes ng ano ng Jomix BYP FNK decides to go out and take their own boss instead to provide more pressure para magkaroon sila ng konting map control. Alam naman ng Jomix to, so they're taking their own bosses. And it's gonna be a very, very interesting kung sinong boss ang mas malakas. Lugi ng konti ang Jomix dito because PLV being very constant, taking experience kahit nagkukuha ng objectives yung team niya. Bo both bosses do go down for their own respective teams and they're gonna be pushing out. Unfortunately, BYP FNK is ahead sa experience. It's, it's one level ahead. And this is this might be the difference in the engagement. Kasi they will be getting their own talents in just a bit. A couple more experience left. And they are trying to engage and take out the boss as fast as they can. Looks like sinasecure lang nila yung bot. Alam nila na this is the best place to push which is why they're doing it kasi at the same time their boss is pushing on top. BYP FNK still getting stunned. Oh my god, the silence are coming in. Ayan na ang metamorphosis. 
Si TLV nakaupo lang sa liko Doing as much damage as they can Oh my god This is the power of a good composition guys Pag nadikit ka Pag nadikit ka Eh yun ang makakuha mo The divine shield on Illidan was just very very well done Kasi Obviously, you tend to focus on Illidan on engagements. But with the Divine Shield, he survived all of that. And now, the uncontested ano, golem na uh, FNK is just moving on, going down, breaking out the top lane. But on the other hand, same thing, same thing din yung nangyari for Jomix. This game is getting pretty, pretty, ano, pretty, pretty dicey for... Joe Mix. Ano kaya ang magiging tayo nila to come back? They're two levels down. The tribute is coming up. And they will be getting that no problem. Hindi na makakakontest ng Joe Mix yan. Here we go. They're, they're too far and they're too outnumbered and their levels are down. They need something to do. They need to do something to uh, catch their experience up. Maybe get a hero or a gang. Do some ganks. Get some more experience catch up they are behind actually they just caught up with their talent so it should be fine they should be fine it's just one level now and if they get the right engagement this game could go back to being on their favor BYP FNK being very very diligent sa kanilang pag push they're just gonna go in and do a lot of damage in the middle I wonder kung makakapag gank ng maayos ang ano ang Jomix dito we'll see kung anong balak nila mukhang naspot sila ni Anu Barak pumapasok si Vizier but they manage they manage to go down Bellamy with a very nice stun there sa tower just doing Sylvanas stuff you know yun lang naman ang kailangan ni Sylvanas just disable the towers let the minions do what most of the work nasa likod lang siya and TLD is just Doing a lot of damage. The second tribute is coming in, and mukamawuwa na naman ng FNK to without any trouble whatsoever. And dami nila naghihintay, and they're just gonna claim this. There's really no, I don't know, I don't want to call it, pero ma, mane, malabo ang engagement ng Jomix dito. As you can see, the judgment is coming in. The Vikings are coming out with their boat, and now they're engaging. Nakon. Iriel, eh, Illidan is looking for a good engagement there. Inuubos niya muna si Sonya. Unfortunately, did not work. But he did manage to metamorphosize in the middle. And now, kinakain ng Jomix yung damage ng BN ng FNK. And they're gonna take the tribute. No problem. Si Tassadar mukhang napauwi. Affirmo, they had no choice. I understand. The damage was overwhelming. In terms, again, of composition, mas maganda yung napili ng FNK they were more balanced and now it's paying off within the engagements in this game alright this is gonna be very dangerous para sa Jomix kasi the next tribute is gonna be the last it's gonna be 3 out of 3 and they're gonna get cursed if they do not manage to get it it's gonna be very very hard for them to come back in this game so they're gonna have to tighten their belts and to do something and they're gonna have to be very creative because they are behind level-wise in this game. It looks like they're planning on taking the enemy boss. This is a risk being taken by BNP, FNK. They're actually, I think they're just trying to see if, I know, if the, uh, oh, there it is. Mukhang balak yata nilang mag sa boss nito. Just very... Which is not gonna happen because nandito yung tribute and I know na alam ng Jomix it's bad idea to try and get boss this near to the tribute. So there's not gonna be any problems here. Ngayon, if if ano, if Jomix does a great does a great job in trying to defend the tribute which is almost there. There we go. Illidan take eating the judgment. Unfortunately, tandaan mo, meron silang Uther na may Divine Shield. You're gonna have to focus down as fast as possible. Si Inubarak, kinakain niya yung most ng damage. Unfortunately, that is his job. And how bang kinakain niya yung the rest of this team is doing a lot of damage. My God, nakatakas pa si Illidan sa, sa atake niya yun. And Sonya, looks like he's not gonna be able to get back. Oh, nahabol siya ni Bellamy. AON B gonna be suffering the effects of the curse and ngayon kukunin na ng FNK yung boss na kanina pa nila hinihintay very solid play there by FNK 
Jomix still is not out of the game. They're two levels down. They got their boss, but it's still not over yet. It's only 13 minutes into the game. Maagyak ng sila. They just need to contest this in a very timely manner. Kasi mas tan lang yun, no? They're very exposed right now. They just need to know when to get the opportunity to attack. But they're too busy trying to defend their base. Just very, very smart para sa BMP FNK. Kasi, you know, they got, they got the, uh, they got the golem. Their enemy's golem. And now they have to get their own. Kasi, ano eh, cursed yung kalaban, no? They are, they're cursed. So they have no choice. Uh, Jomix has to defend against this big golem who's coming through, which gives them the freedom to take their own golem and their own knights while the curse is going out. Usually, this is a bad idea. Kasi you're wasting the curse on not being able to push. However, getting two bosses in one run kind of offsets that. I think it's acceptable. Parang okay na. Hindi mo nga na push yung gamit ang heroes mo since ano, busy ka sa pagkukuha ng boss. Pero nakuha mo naman yung boss eh. So the gambit pays for itself. Ngayon meron silang map control, BNP, FNK. And they can do that with whatever, they can use that for whatever purpose they need. They can get the creeps, they can use it for ganks, and most importantly, stock ang Jomix baba. Hindi sila basta-basta pwedeng lumabas kasi pag lumabas sila, isang malaking gank ang makukuha nila dahil magkakasama na ngayon ang uh, FNK. Like I said, here we go. They're using it, looks like, para i-push ang top, getting all the mercenaries and gonna hide behind the golem here. Let's see kung paano defend ng Jomix ito. Itong napaka nakakatakot na push na ito. Sino kaya unang mag-dive? It's gonna be very interesting to find out. Here we go. Alright, top tower is going down. No problem. The golem is just marching in, taking all the damage that it can. That's his job. And to destroy the building as well. Actually, pwede mong i-block yung tower na yun para diretso sa core. But, looks like they didn't do it. And, doesn't matter. Kasi, looks like they're gonna be taking out most of the most of the team right now. And, looks like BYP FNK is gonna be taking game one of this finals very easily. The Golem is doing the job for them. Here we go. Focus firing on the core. And nice try from Joe Mix. There's the GG. Wonder what they're gonna do for game two to get back against BYP FNK. Ha, 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 ha.